I had a request for a demonstration on how to remove the background with a, with a flowing hair in the wind. Well, it took a while to find this image because I needed a very large one. So anyway, we have our image. Right click the top layer and add an alpha channel. Now we need to duplicate the top image. Just click on that icon there. We go to colors and we desaturate. It doesn't really matter which one it is, so we just click OK. Next we go back to colors and we choose brightness and contrast. This is where you need to watch the hair, the very fine hair as you take up the brightness and the contrast. Bring the brightness up to about there. Now move the contrast up so it starts to turn to a, a more of a black and white sort of a colour. You don't want to lose too much of the hair at the top, the flowing hair and up the side here. So that's about right. We click OK. Now we go back to colours and we invert the colour so that everything now is inverted. Now remembering the old one I did with the fine detail with the bridge and Ross, the, everything we need to save has got to be in white. So it's a bit difficult because there's a, a lot of colour in that girl's face. So what you do, you turn the, the opacity down so you can start to see the colour. You swing your colour to white, choose your brush, now you choose a fuzzy brush and turn it up for, for fairly big and you just go around the edges and pick out that what the uh, invert didn't change. Make sure you don't go too heavy. That little bit there is a transparency as you can see through the hair. So we need to go around that a little bit. And we've got to bring in a colour of the shoulders and down here on the clothing because the clothing was white so when we reversed it it became black. And because everything we're going to keep will be in uh, white. So we need to go all through there and all around the face. When we turn it back, the opacity back, you'll see what we may have missed and we'll be able to touch it up a little bit. Make it nice and strong there. She's dripping, dropping her shoulder so you, you will notice that uh, that's partly transparent there as well. Move around there and clean up all that. Well, we've got that fairly tidy there. We'll move the opacity back to full time. Now we can see what we've really missed. So we've missed all around here and we bring in all that. And around there as well. Just a little bit there. And now I can bring my brush up to a real big heavy one and just tidy it all up. Okay, now we've got our we should have our colours all nicely done. That's about right. Now we make a copy of that. We copy it to the clipboard. And then we move that down. We don't want require it there. And we just turn the eye off because we may need it later on. We go to the top layer. We move to the top layer. We go to layers and we add a layer mask. White full opacity. Then we go back to edit and we paste in what we copied. Now it's become a floating selected pasted layer. We right click on the icon there, the anchor the layer. That's anchored it to the uh, to the um, transparency there. Now we go and put in another image in the background. So we open the layer and we choose uh, that one there will do me. Now I move it underneath the other one. Now you can see how the fine detail of the hair is very well preserved. So we just go and right click on the top layer. And oh, before we do, we can we can uh, blur the background. We go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and I bumped it up to about 15. So we blur the background. Now we go to the top layer, right click on it, 
and merge visible layers. Merge and there we have it. Now I just bring this up out of the way and I'll blow this up to 50% and then hit the tab key. Now you can see the very fine detail that the hair is now nicely yeah. detailed in the image. You can see through the transparency there and down here as well. You can see there she dropped her shoulder. So there you have it. Quite easy to do in GIMP. Thank you for watching and rate the video.